Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where today I am back on the War Thunder Update 1.87 development server and I'm going to be taking a look at the French helicopter tech tree. Now this obviously is something that's had a lot of speculation around since it was announced uh, about a week ago and you know it is rather interesting to see how it's panned out. Um, so let's go, uh, obviously this is the first heli on the tech tree, the H34, we saw it on the test server live stream and we'll look through the other ones soon. But anyway, getting into the H34 itself so this is a tier 5 9.0 rated vehicle main uh sort of fixed armament is four 7.62 millimeter browning machine guns mounted either side of the nose section you have two agm 22 missiles which i believe are variants of the ss 11 missile and then also on that rack on the side you also have six hvar rockets which obviously can be used for anti-aircraft this is a piston powered helicopter kind of like the mi4 um but I think this might be a tad better than the MI4, personally. Uh, it appears to fly fairly decently in terms of, it's got a crew, a crew or two. Top speed, also not too bad actually, 177 miles an hour. Uh, maximum altitude, not exactly important, but the max out's 19,000 feet. And as you can see, it also has a separate skin. A lot of the helis on the French tree have separate skins, which is very nice to see. Uh, multiple camouflages, definitely something I'm fairly happy with uh, Gaijin implementing actually. Um, just generally shows that they put a bit more effort into it, makes the helicopters look nicer, and if you don't like the basic skin, you can always go with the second one. Another thing to say is, cockpit model. This is one of the few helis in the game that has a cockpit model now. The MI-24s, this update, also got cockpit models. I will take a look at them at another time. But this got a cockpit model as well, which is very nice to see. Very lovely cockpit model, I must say. So, let's take a look at these HVAR rockets, shall we? Um, so, yeah, just getting some sort of lining up shots. Spam them in, and yeah, that's... Uh, that's a lot of damage, as you might say. Um, but yeah, certainly uh, certainly pretty damn good there. Uh, another thing to say is, there we go. Look very powerful. Very good rockets. Uh, this heli obviously is start heli. Big chunky heli though. Very big. Not the most maneuverable. Uh, although I haven't been able to get a great gauge of how good it is because I don't have my standard control settings on the dev server. So I'll have to wait and see it on the live. Here's the Alouette 2. It's on the Germans. It's a copy and paste with a different skin. Very basic uh, in terms of uh, in terms of this heli. It's very simple. Same stats. Tier 5 9.0. Four 7.62mm machine guns. Four SS-11 missiles, 150 mile an hour top speed, crew of two. It is a copy and paste of the German equivalent. It's exactly the same. And also the capability to have some SNEB rockets in rocket pods. So, you know, it's it's a copy. It's exactly the same as the one on the German tech tree, just with a different skin. It's a copy and paste. So now that we look to that, uh, let's uh, jump back to the tech tree and look at the other option. Because here you can go for either the Alouette 2 or the Alouette 3. And obviously you're going to go for the Alouette 3 so you can get the gazelles. So here's the Alouette 3, the SA316B Alouette 3. Um, generally an interesting heli, I will say. Uh, first off, tier 5, 9.3 BR. Uh, four SS-11 missiles is the weapon we, that you can have with this heli. 150 mile an hour top speed, crew of two, pilot and the gunner or the, the missile operator. Unlike the premium one, this does not have fixed guns. So that is another thing that makes the premium version, the, uh, the IAR, uh, 316 a bit more unique, but there you go the SS-11 missiles, so um, That's just something to know. There's also a separate camo the uh, this is the secondary camo that I have on now the bicolored desert camo So as you can see um, not really going to show the weapons off as they are just basic ATGMs um, But as you can see it's fairly agile heli and uh, one thing I'm this is in realistic settings by the way But one thing I'm really happy with is the engine doesn't over overdrive because if you overdrive the engine sometime the engine just dies very very apparent on the bow 105 this not so much actually it's fairly decent heli and the engine doesn't kill itself which is nice next up the early gazelle i'm not going to test fly this i'm going to test fly the second one but this is the early version weapons uh, can only be mounted on the left side of the helicopter and on the right side you have this 20 millimeter cannon in terms of basic stats rank 6 9.7 br 20mm Gelat M621 cannon with 1,000 rounds of ammunition. Uh, currently, it has the Mighty Mouse rockets engaged. They're just the basically Hydra's unguided rockets. They're now called Mighty Mouse. Uh, crew of two, 190 mile an hour top speed at sea level. So, generally fairly basic. Um, there is a secondary skin for this, as you can see. It can also carry the Hot 180 GM. It can carry two of them, or it can carry two Hot 2s, or it can carry two of the Mistral AAMs, the anti-aircraft missiles. Although currently they seem a bit bugged. You'll see in a bit what I mean by that. So that's the SA uh, the SA 341F. 
the uh, the early variant of the gazelle. The secondary camo, there's two secondary camos. There's this one, the bicolor uh, desert camo. Same basic color uh, palette that we've seen on the um, on the Alouette 3. And here is also the uh, NATO sort of Kark camouflage, that we similar to the ones we've seen on German tanks, actually. Next up here is the M version of the gazelle, the uh, the four, uh, the 342 M. This is a rank 6, 9.7, same BR. Uh, first off, the payload I have now is the four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. So this can carry four. So instead of just uh, only weapons on one side, it's removed the gun and you have weapons on both sides. So that means four hot ATGMs, either one or two variant, and the Mistral ATGMs, as well as Mighty Mouse... Uh, unguided missiles and then there's various jumbled up uh, payload amounts of either air to air missiles and ATGMs or unguided missiles and ATGMs. Top speed 179. Um, bit slower. That might just be because of the extra armament but it's a bit slower than the early variant. Uh, crew of two again and by the way that top speed is at sea level. And there's the secondary camo, another bicolored desert camo. So let's go do a little test flight. So as you can see uh, I'm moving along. There is the MiG-15. Get the uh, get the reticle on. I have the missiles on one side. On on the left side, I have the hot ATGMs, and on the other side, I have the air-to-airs. But as you see on this dev server, it seems that the missile gets close and then deflects off. But it does look there that this missile is actually very maneuverable, very agile missile. So pretty damn decent there, actually. Um, I try firing a T-64. Um, the ATGM actually just hits the side and sort of doesn't pen. So I get a bit lower, get to a bit of a more flat shot so I can get a better uh, better angle. And, you know, take a look at the um, the other tank. Bit lightly armoured, this one. Uh, fire missile in, and boom, there we go. That's, uh, that's a kill. So pretty decent. This heli, though, they are... The Gazelle helis are well known in real life for being generally fast helicopters that are fairly agile. Uh, this certainly does... Um, keep up to that reputation I would say. As you can see I'm flying fairly low, fairly quick, I'm able to dodge between trees and it's pretty good because the, the, I'm not even using my standard uh, War Thunder heli control settings which makes it very difficult and as you see I'm going to fire the missile again and as you're going to see it, it will it deflects off um, when it gets close. It just deflects off in a opposite direction so a bit weird there I will admit. I'm not sure why it does that. I'm sure it's a bug that will be fixed before the second dev server or before the update's released if they add air to air missiles to the game that just do not work. I can't imagine people will be very happy with that but I'm sure they will fix it. Anyway though now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the final helicopter that we're going to look at. This being the premium, the IAR uh, Alouette 3 variant. It's a Romanian license built version of the Alouette 3, the IAR 316B. Um, this is the only premium from this update I bought. Just because I saw it I thought it was a cute little heli and it was actually very cheap. I could, it was cheaper than most other heli premiums and I could get it in a pack. So tier 5 9.3 BR for uh, two 7.62mm machine guns, two more than the actual Alouette 3 has in the French tech tree. This has got guns, that one does not. Um, you also have six uh, 9M14M missiles. This is the same missile that's mounted on the BMP-1 when that is in its stock configuration. And also 32 S5K rockets. So a lot of Russian equipment on this heli. French heli, Russian equipment. Of course, these are first gen ATGMs as well, the, uh, the ones on the BMP. And you also have a secondary camo. And there is actually a third camo for the pre-order bonus which was not on the dev server, but that is effectively the blue camo with a few other shades of blue on it. Uh, so here's an enemy tank. As you can see, those unguided rockets, they do do quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, the ATGMs, of course, we know what they're like because they're on the BMP-1, but I wasn't actually able to test them with the heli purely because uh, the controls wouldn't work. So I presume that's just because the dev server, once I can actually get it on the live server, um, I already have all my control presets and I can actually spend time working out how to use the missiles. And I was pretty happy with that, actually. Just one, uh, one small salvo of two rockets actually killed it. So I was pretty happy with that. And, you know, as you can see, the guns... Um, pretty good. Uh, the normal Alouette 3 in the tech tree uh, does not have guns, so could be a bit difficult there. These guns, they are weak, but you have something there. Uh, so this is more, this is actually unique. Uh, a lot of people said it's just an Alouette 3. It's an Alouette 3 with Soviet weapons and guns, so it is actually slightly better than the normal one. Um, in terms of premiums from this update, I'm not really interested in any of the Tier 5 jets, considering they're copy and paste. Japanese, um, Type 74G, uh, no, not really. Uh, I'll obviously make a dev video on it, but uh, I'm not really, not really interested in that. I don't really play Japanese tanks. The one jet I am interested actually now, after seeing the dev server, is the G91R4, purely because it's a little G91 with four air-to-air -air missiles. But anyway, this is a French heli video. Uh, get back on topic. Uh, so yeah, this heli. 
pretty damn nice. I love the camouflages. I'm really excited to see the pre-order camo, actually, because there were some pictures of that camouflage uh, on the store page and actually look really nice. Anyway, though, the overall French heli tech tree, I think it's pretty good. Of course, it is missing rather famous, more modern helicopters, such as the uh, Eurocopter Tiger. Uh, things that I have no doubt we will see soon. I think within a few updates, we're going to see stuff like the Car 50, the Apache, the Eurocopter Tiger, all those sort of things we are going to start seeing soon. So keep an eye out for all of them. French Heli Tech Tree certainly does have a bright future ahead of itself. Anyway, though, thank you very much for watching. More dev server content will not be out today, but will in fact be out tomorrow because it's getting late and, you know, I've got stuff to do. So uh, I'll be getting some videos out tomorrow, so look out for them. Um, Certainly, I'll be trying to get as many videos as possible. I still have to make videos, to be honest, from this dev on the Super Mysteria, the T2 jet fighter, the Type 74, G91s, both of them, the Ariette, uh, the Alaska map as well. I, will, I have a quick video just driving around that map and pointing stuff out. So, lots of stuff to work on. They will be out over the next uh, two days. I'm not really that free tomorrow, so there'll probably only be one or two videos. But then Tuesday, I think I'll get around just to finishing off what I have left to do. Anyway, though, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.